you know, New Orleans won the draft lottery, which, of course, produced the usual round of speculation that maybe the lottery was fixed. I know that you appreciate a good conspiracy theory as much as the next guy was the fix in for the lottery. Uh, you know, I have two answers for that. I'll, I'll give you the easy one. No. And a statement. Shame on you for asking. You know, I, I understand why you would say that to me, and I want to preface it by saying it respectfully. I think it's my job to ask because I think people wonder. No, it's ridiculous, but that's okay. I, I know, you know, I I know that back, you think it's ridiculous, but I don't think the question is ridiculous because I know people think that. Stop beating I'm, your not wife saying, yet? I'm not saying that I do, but I think it's my job to ask you that. I, have you stopped beating your wife yet? Yeah, I don't know if that's fair. I don't know if that's fair. Why is that? Because I think that there are, and I, and I know you read your emails, and I'm sure you follow things virally and on Twitter. People really do think it, whether it's fair or not. Well, they think it because people. You don't, like you don't think you. the question's and fair to ask if, people, if your fans think it? Silly questions. I expect it to be written about, and, you know, I actually I, I commented last night at my presser that there was one guy who I won't dignify by naming, says, I have no reason to know anything, and I don't know anything, but I tell you, I believe it's fixed. Okay, that's good. Why is that? Well, because this team won it, and if that team won it, it would have been fixed also, and if that team won it, it would have been fixed also, and if and if uh, every team was invited to have a representative there, and if there were four members of the media there, and if Ernst and Young certified it, you still think, yes. So I, I guess... I, I, I think guess two I'm things. I, let me. What's your response to this? I think two things. Number one, I don't think so. I don't think so, and I'm not covering myself. I don't think so, but I think by asking the question, it would not suggest that I think so. But the one thing I would say, the league does own the team, does it not? Yes. Does that not make the question fair? I don't think so. Number one, we sold it. We're going to close this week. We already have established our price. I think that if we had... If it had gone to Michael Jordan, and the, which was the next team up with in terms of a high percentage, there was an, oh, David's take care of his friend Michael. And if it had gone to Brooklyn, which is going into Barclays Center, it would have been fair to speculate, I suppose, that you know we want to take Brooklyn off of the mat. So there was no winning, uh, and people write about it, uh, and it's okay to write about it, and we sort of expect it, but... You know, that's not a that's a that's not a question that I've uh, been asked before by a respectable journalist. I I think I understand why you're frustrated by that. I think that I understand why that would upset you. I would hope that you would not hold that against me. I wouldn't hold it against you. I've I you know you and I have been into more contentious discussions than that. I don't know. I'd put that one right up there. Well, you know, it's it's good copy, and you do things sometimes for cheap thrills. I, didn't, I did not do that for a cheap thrill. That's not what that was. Well, it sounded like it. No, not at all. No, see, that's my point. That's where you and I, that's our well, point of good. disconnect. It's that was not a cheap thrill, and I was not throwing anything against the wall, and I was trying to be as respectful as possible. I'm just saying that people wonder about that. And I don't want to ask a question by, here's what I don't want to do. I don't want to say, hey, Commissioner, people would say, because I'm going to ask a direct question, but people did wonder. But that was not a cheap thrill. Well, was, I got no thrill out of that. It's a cheap trick. No, flopping is a cheap trick. No, no. But listen, you've been successful in making a career of it, and I keep coming on. Making so a career of I what, am. though? Commissioner, see, that, 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 I take great offense to that. Making a career of what? What offense? Cheap are thrills? Taking, are you taking offense? Or I am now. I now said? I am. If you're saying now that I've made a career your, of making cheap thrills. Time, you know, uh, taking on the world, and now Jim Rome is pouting? I love it. No, I'm not pouting. It's I take great. offense. Uh, there's a difference between pouting and taking offense. I take offense to that like you took offense to the question. What if I said, were okay, you pouting when I, I asked the question? Taking offenses. You want to hang up on me? No, I, well, no, I can't okay. hang up on you because I'm running out of time. I would never hang up on you. Okay. Listen, I got to go call somebody important like Stephen A. Smith now. He's up next. All right. You go make that call, and I'll go talk to somebody else, too, I guess, myself. All right. All right, it's Commissioner. Always- have a nice day. I did not hang up on him. We are officially out of time. We will come back and reset that momentarily. Stay tuned. 